Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to ETL QA Labs. Uh, my name is Hetu. So in this session, uh, we will look at uh, aggregate function in SQL. Okay. So what we will do is as part of this, we will try to understand what are aggregate functions, and then uh, we will see that uh, you know these are pretty simple. Uh, functions yeah they are the mathematical function right so that that and they are they are called aggregate function because they are actually working on uh, you know set of uh, rows or set of uh, values right so that's why they are called aggregate function okay so what we will we will try to see each and every this uh, each of this function so primarily we have the five uh, aggregate function minimum max mean max count some average right so it is uh, like uh, it's very uh, uh, logical you know if you can just uh, read the name it will uh, give you the meaning also right so for example mean is like minimum of the value right that is there uh, for a particular so other thing is guys all these functions are working will work uh, on the numerical value right so it will work on the columns which are having the number uh, data type all right and uh, then what we will see is uh, we will see the use of distinct yeah with with regards to count and then also we will see that uh, null value right how does it behave with the aggregate function so all those things we will see guys so let's start then so let's go straight back to SQL prompt and I will take my old table that I already created let's see the values right so guys this is how it is right so employee number you have full name all these columns are there what we will do is we will primarily be using the salary columns here right so salary column if you see right so we will be trying to use that and uh, so uh, if you see that this uh, you know this uh, aggregate functions are very straightforward but uh, this is just straightforward because we are not going to use the subqueries or you know nested queries or the group by function etc right so uh, my idea was to just cover up cover uh, first and try to understand what are those aggregate function and then at the next step uh, maybe probably in the next video i will try to show you the usage of uh, uh, the real time usage of all those uh, I mean these are even real time usage but those will be complex usage right and uh, so we will look at the group by uh, and uh, then uh, all those kind of clauses yeah so let's try to try to you know run all those five different uh, aggregate functions so we have minimum maximum yeah right so let's try and uh, I will use as I said the salary column right so let's say select all right guys i will not type okay so what i will do is so this is the normal syntax right so see guys if i say select start from emp this is like uh, from employee i want to select something right now if i say star which means i want to select all the columns right but if i say select a particular column let's say salary it will only select the salary right so we have 15 uh, different uh, rows and I should get the 15 different salaries, right? I got the 15 different salary. Here the value is null. That's why it is, um, there is no value. You cannot see it. But then if you see there are 15 rows selected, okay? Now, if I see that, if I say that, can I find what is the minimum salary, okay? So what I have to do is select minimum salary. Guys, again, I cannot use any other column here uh, for now i will tell you later how i can use you know group by another thing but if you see that if uh, if i have to find a minimum salary i cannot use any other column for example let's say emp number right i cannot use this because um, this will only work on the salary column and it will try to find out which one is minimum and it will display right so if I run it, it will give you error, right? So not a single group function, not a single group or group function, right? 
so that's why we sh we cannot use when we are using the aggregate function we have to use aggregate function and then on which column we want to run that aggregate function that should be in bracket right so here select minimum min is the aggregate function and then salary in bracket this is the column name from salary so what it will give you it will give the minimum salary from this particular employee table all right so if you see what is the minimum so I think the minus one will be minimum see minus 2000 right this should be the minimum so let's try to see whether it is correct yes it is correct okay so this is how you can get the minimum and uh, when I say maximum all right maximum is 80,000 yeah so this is what the value is uh, in in our table if you see this already displayed right so this is the 80 70 then 80 80 is the maximum okay so actually we are getting the correct value okay now the thing is um, what we have to do is we got minimum and maximum now guys you may be let me just display it I think first you may be thinking you know why minus you know uh, why minus two two thousand right why not uh, okay so this value right there is no value here let me do one thing guys uh, what I want to do first of all I want to just update this okay subdate all the minus uh, this select update e employee select employee I want to update all the salary to positive okay just to avoid confusion set salary equal to maybe I want to set it to 1000 okay where so for I want to just set the salary to 1000 for all the uh, which are having where salary is less than zero okay what it will do is it will update update employee okay we are actually updating the employee and we are actually what we are updating set salary 1000 so for what whom uh, all uh, for all which all the employees whose salary is less than zero right less than zero is this value let's try to see if it is working yeah so it says the two rows updated and we are expecting two rows only now we will just run commit because this is dml okay so update is dml statement and you have to explicitly run the commit statement that is the tcl right all right guys and now we will see now everything is positive uh, sorry uh, positive yeah there is no negative so now if I say uh, sorry uh, if I say what is the minimum right so minimum salary what do you guys think what should be the minimum salary any guess okay so minimum should be 1000 because this is the only 1000 there are two instances but minimum is 1000 so it should give you 1000 yeah correct now guys uh, you might be thinking why minimum is 1000 why not this value right there is no value so the null null means there is no value okay so in fact the characteristics of uh, aggregate function right all this five function they will simply ignore the null values yeah so if I say uh, how do I know that whether they are ignoring or not so if I say count then you will come to know whether it is counting or not so ideally there are 15 record here 15 rows it should give 15 rows if it is not ignoring these two right let's see whether it is giving 15 no it is giving 13 because they have ignored this this particular salary is null this particular salary is also null so in fact all the aggregate function ignore them um, ignore the you know this uh, null values and they do not uh, consider that as part of their uh, you know uh, calculation all right so that is the reason guys you we got the minimum salary as 1000 and maximum salary as 80000 all right so hope this is clear to you and uh, now again if i say count so what is this count count on salary because it has ignored here right but when i say count star select count star what should happen guys uh, when I say select count star uh, how many rows are there it will give you actually rows number of rows okay count star it give you 15 right which is correct only right so there are 15 rows but when I say select 
count of salary then it has ignored these two values so it, it has given so if I say that you know um, any other column for example MGR ID okay manager ID it should give because there is manager for every employer right so it will give you 15,000 sorry MGR ID what is that let me just run it select star from EM okay this is MGR number okay so MGR number okay so let me run it it's giving me 15 because there is no null value right so everything is calculated here counted here okay so this is the basic difference when a particular column is having null value and then it will ignore just uh, all those null value and, and uh, all the f uh, you know aggregate function will ignore that all right now what else i wanted to cover as part of this guys okay one more thing okay so now guys if there can be a possibility that you know people can ask you the question uh, how can I mean how do we know that what is the distinct count distinct count of a particular column right so how do we find a distinct I think in previous session I just told you how to use the distinct right so distinct is to just find out uh, find out uh, you know unique unique uh, values right so when I say select distinct star from EMP employee right it means that it has actually find out the distinct rows so do we have the distinct rows let's see we do not have any distinct rows I mean we do not have any duplicate right otherwise the count might have uh, been lesser now right so it was 15 before and now also 15 which means there is no duplicate rows here okay now what we will do is we will try to find distinct on MGR number okay what is that MGR manager number so guys you see how many are the unique one here one one three four five I think see one second distinct distinct okay uh, all right guys something some problem here manager number okay MGR on oh no, sorry this should be MGR actually okay fine done now and so guys uh, manager number I just want to take the department number better I think okay so if I take the department number then we will come to know so how many department number are there that we will come to know here so distinct okay MGR number oh sorry not manager number DPT number let's see so we have got one two three four five five different department number right so guys if somebody is asking how do you find the distinct uh, department number from this particular table and uh, so the we need to find a count okay so what I can do is I can actually use a count outside this okay all right see guys it is giving you five right so this is how you can find out if I say that you know count of department number it will give you 15 always right because there are 15 but when I say distinct so distinct basically already given you all this and then on top of this particular output there is a count command you know count uh, aggregate function used here right so first what has happened this particular uh, query uh, from uh, employee table this execute this has executed right because this is in bracket so first this will get the preference what it will give you it will give you all those five records okay and then on top of that this aggregate function count so count is going to count how many are there so it found only five so this is how it is okay so guys I think we have covered this also now now all right so we have uh, seen almost everything that we wanted to cover as part of this session so guys again you know uh, you can uh, use the count you can use average you can use uh, max min we have already seen it right so you can use some some also right so if I want to use let's say some so it will be huge number but then let me try okay so salary sum okay this is giving 
this value okay when i say average average will also be performed which means it will first add it up and then it will just uh, you know divide by that number okay so divide by 15 it should be basically got it so i will tell you how the average is working right so this is the average value now what i want to do is i want to do sum of salary all right and divide by 15 okay sorry one second one second not 15 because in salary we have two null value so it should be 13 basically so you see guys this value average and this value that we have used uh, using the sum and then divided by 13 both are same right so this is how it is working so guys this is just uh, you know uh, introduction about uh, introduction about uh, the aggregate function but uh, you know most important things which we are we want to cover is you know using the group by and uh, having clause etc that we will uh, start from the next session okay so i think uh, uh, this was the quick uh, session that i wanted to cover and thank you guys thank you for watching and uh, please watch this video and try to practice it and uh, hope to see you in the next video and then uh, i will share more information on the group by and other things right that will be very interesting session right next session so thank you guys and uh, if you have not subscribed this channel please do subscribe and uh, appreciate my work uh, so that i can bring more and more video for you and uh, until then i think uh, uh, yes guys happy learning and uh, see you soon bye